Should I become a Twitch streamer in 2021? Is it a good career? This career is easily one of the top choices for gamers, but is it really worth it? So first, let's start with streaming. You're gonna get on a consistent schedule, just like YouTube, for example. Streaming for 4-8 to eight hours straight is nothing unheard of on Twitch. In fact, it's the norm. You would think that playing a game for 8 hours straight isn't that bad. So what's the big deal? Streamers have to do this for many days per week playing the same game. You could stop anytime you like, but if you stop playing because of boredom midstream, viewers will stop watching. Not to mention what if you get bored of the game, and then you switch to a different game and some viewers stop watching because of that. Well, you would have to try again to gain back those viewers you lost because they don't want to watch you play a game that they don't play. Take Ninja playing Fortnite for example. His Twitch and channel seemed good until he started playing Valorant. You got those kids commenting on every League of Legends video saying go play Fortnite again. This would lead to a decision. Play the game you get bored of for more viewers or switch to a different game that your audience doesn't like. All this is if you even make it big when streaming. Less than 1% of streamers get more than 1000 viewers in live streams and it's getting harder and harder to even get into streaming. If you're out there with a $10 mic and a 30fps gaming PC, it's next to impossible to even start. Nowadays, new streamers have to have some sort of standout feature to gain popularity, whether that would be in their skills or personality. Many Twitch streamers come from other platforms like YouTube. Many streamers get discouraged even in the first week when they see one view per live stream. Some stream for months without passing 10 viewers. After their expectations aren't met, they quit. But for those who continue, are the ones that eventually get success. It's hard, but it will be worth it. Creator burnout is also a big reason why a lot of streamers stop. Whenever a YouTuber or a streamer takes a break, you might think why waste a chance to make more money and upload more. Mental health is a key thing in Twitch. Remember the schedule I talked about before? Streamers, after a while, stop finding enjoyment in even gaming. It's hard to be forced to play something over and over again and try to like it. They focus more on their streaming views rather than enjoying the game. They forget why they used to like the game so much, but can't switch because their views will lower. Summit 1G once switched from Fortnite to Sea of Thieves. People found out that his mood improved a lot and slowly, he started getting record amounts of subscribers. Although that is truly inspirational, many small streamers unfortunately don't have the choice because people care more about their content than their personality. Streaming is more of a job to some people because they have to watch everything they say. Didn't mean to say the n-word? Too late. You're already clipped and cancelled. Accidentally showed your history? Cancelled. This isn't like YouTube where you can edit things out. Most people want to get into streaming because of the money and for good reason. You can easily make enough to live off of Twitch, but again, it's for that 1%. Even with all the donations and sponsorships. Now I don't want to crush anyone's dreams, because there are a lot of new streamers getting tons of views every day. What I'm saying is that it's simply too competitive. Unless you're a competitive gamer or an excellent entertainer. It's really hard. So in conclusion, yes it is worth it, but don't quit your job for it. It may look like the perfect career for you, but many streamers tried and it's hard to face the reality of it. It's unfortunate. It's tough and mentally draining to some people. I would try it as a hobby, but don't expect it to go anywhere unless you put your all into it. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming, or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.